Imaging the night sky is by far one of the coolest things that us humans have ever figured out how to do. It's enabled us to go from taking images like this to this. How, you ask? By simply counteracting the rotating motion of our planet. You see, it's not the stars that are moving, we are. As our planet rotates, our view of the night sky changes. But if you learn how to counteract this, then you can capture billions and billions of photons from these incredibly distant objects of unimaginable sizes and create masterpieces like these. And now, for the first time ever, you can take these star trail free long exposure images for cheaper than ever before at just £69. Meet the T-Seek Nano. It's a super tiny Star Trek amount that I found on AliExpress a month ago and I've decided to take a gamble on. Its design is simplistic but incredibly effective, with the cherry on top being a built-in green laser to help you polar align the mount for the best possible tracking experience. Its estimates for payload capabilities varied from 3kg to 5kg, which are pretty significant payloads. For context, the new Ascar ATED is only 1.8kg in weight. It seems like it's the perfect mount for a camera and lens setup to take long exposure images of deep sky objects. But tonight I'm going to be doing something a little more extreme. I'm going to be trying to image the night sky with my smartphone. Can it be done? Let's find out. I'm the Telescope Man and this is Astronomical. Right, so here's my complete rig. I'm using a Samsung S24 Ultra held by a five pound phone holder mount and collectively two Andoa head mounts priced at just under 20 pounds each. So overall, the setup exceeds 100 pounds. I need at least one ball head mount so that I can slide the T-Seq Nano Tracker into it and align the mount towards our North Star. The mount then rotates at a rate that matches our planet, eliminating the star trailing motion. It even has multiple switches on the back that allow it to track at different rates that correspond to the moon, the sun, or the southern hemisphere. I decided that my first target would be one of the easier targets to find with my phone, and that was the Pleiades. Using a free time zoom, I focused in on the star cluster, and very importantly, used the included pen accessory of my smartphone to remotely take a 30 second long exposure image of the Seven Sisters. Why is this important? Because if I tap the screen to take my shot, it will very likely lead to a vibration that would cause the phone to shake and my stars to blur. To give you an idea of how a 30 second exposure looks at free time zoom with the S24 Ultra without the help of a star tracker, here's an image that I took, which is not great. Now here's the first shot that I captured with the star tracker turned on much better. It doesn't really need restating that this is a smartphone we are using here to capture the night sky, but I've got to say I'm so impressed that we've reached this point where I can actually image one of the most spellbinding open star clusters in our night sky with a slim device that goes in my pocket and has been designed to enable us to talk to each other from far away. Samsung really have a golden opportunity here to push the camera capabilities of their phones just a little bit further and unlock the beauty of our cosmos. All of the smartphones have gone for a fad this last decade of being able to image the Milky Way, but now we're at a point where you can image entire other galaxies. The marketing potential is off the charts. Now it's time to point it towards the galaxy next door, Andromeda. Even without the help of the Star Tracker, you can still make out this faint cloudy patch of light from my light polluted garden. But with the help of the Nano Tracker, you start to notice a little more definition. So I think we can all agree that this is really freaking cool, that a 69 pound lightweight tracker mount powered by a 10 pound power bank that I bought on Amazon can help you capture images of entire galaxies from your back garden. But what if you want to perfect this craft? What if you want your images to get even better? Well then you could start by taking multiple repeated exposures of these deep sky objects and then stacking them to produce far more detailed shots like this. Thanks to the help of a star tracking mount, I was able to create these beautiful images of some of the most iconic deep sky objects in our night sky. This is only the beginning and who knows what we'll be able to do in the next 10 years with our smartphones. I've just finished another review on a $28.50 telescope, which funnily enough is designed to work with a smartphone like the Samsung S24 Ultra and perfectly mounts onto my star tracker mount. So I think I might go ahead and try this in a future video. By combining the two, I could make an all-in-one astrophotography rig for a little over one hundred pounds, potentially capable of taking some really impressive images. If you'd like to see a video like that in the future, then let me know in the comments down below and make sure you are subscribed. Links to the mount and telescope are in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. I'm the Telescope Man and this was Astronomical.